Let's talk about my favorite tip and trick. This is the self-destruct mode, as I call it. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. If you're interested in this phone or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. I also have a full review up on the channel. Be sure to check that out. The first tip and trick we're gonna go over today is screenshots or taking a screen grab. There's a couple different ways you can do that with this phone. The first and most common way is pressing the volume down button and the power button. That's gonna capture a screenshot right there. The second way, this is a pretty cool feature. It has the ability to basically swipe your palm and it'll capture a screenshot. So watch what happens. We'll swipe our palm and there we go. We'll do it again and it's pretty responsive. So in this case, you may have noticed it did switch screens for us. So let's do it a little bit higher up top. There we go, no issues at all. So just pick how you wanna swipe it. So I'm trying with my thumb there but it's really the whole palm. I don't really know how it does that because doing the side right here doesn't do it, but the whole palm across the screen captures a screen grab as well. That's pretty neat. I don't think it's as accurate as using the buttons, but it's up to you to decide. That is also found under the settings option here. And then we're just gonna search swipe. And you should notice under advanced features, we have palm swipe to capture we can turn and toggle that on or off right there in our phone settings. Next up, let's talk about navigation. So we have a couple different ways that we can use our phone. What I mean by that is as follows. Pull from the top, hit the settings gear icon, and then just search navigation. That'll pull up this display option under the display settings. We have navigation type, and we can choose button navigation or swipe gestures. We can also change the button order. So do you want the back button on the left or right hand side? So choose the one that you want. By default, I believe you're gonna have the swipe gestures, but you can tweak that. Under swipe gestures, we have our gesture hints, show button to hide keyboard, and we actually have more options as well. So you can swipe from a button or swipe from sides and bottom up to you on how you want to configure that. I prefer the button layout, but it's very customizable there, so pick and choose what you want. This video was made possible because of our friends over at Visible. Visible by Verizon is a simpler way to do wireless for $30 a month. Yes, that includes taxes and fees. You can get unlimited talk, text, and data nationwide in the US on Verizon's 5G and 4G LTE network. Let's not forget about our unlimited hotspot at five megabits per second built-in spam protection, and unlimited talk and text to our friends in Canada and Mexico. For $45 a month, you can choose the Visible Plus plan that features everything we just mentioned and more. Wow. You get 5G ultra wideband, premium network experience at 50 gigabytes, and additional international benefits, and a $10 a month savings on Verizon home internet. See our affiliate link in the video description for additional information. Next, let's talk about the power button. So, you guessed it, we're gonna hit that settings gear icon from the top. We're gonna search advanced features. That's gonna bring up the first result where we have the side key option down here. We're gonna choose side key, and now we can pick and choose how we want our power button to operate. Double press, you can open an app of your choice, or quick launch camera. Press and hold, you could wake Bixby, or have the power off menu. So we wanna turn that to power off. Sorry Bixby, but not today. This next tip is rather tricky. You may not even notice that you have it enabled. So by default on our A53, we have our edge panel turned on. On the right-hand side of our screen, there's just this little area that we can pull over and look at the access to the apps that we have right there. To change and configure this, go to your settings again. We'll click it right from the edge panel and then just search edge panels and there it is under display and you can toggle that on or off. We're gonna select it and then we can choose, do we want certain apps, contacts, tasks, weather, tools, a reminder, clipboard, you can get the Galaxy Store, so you can configure the pan, the panels how you want, different handle options, where do you want it positioned, left or right, transparency, size, width, 
vibrate when touched. So there's a lot of settings you have right here, but don't forget if you don't like it or don't want it, you can just toggle it off. Next, let's talk about my favorite tip and trick. This is the self-destruct mode, as I call it. This is a secure locking feature for your device. Always nice to have for your safety and protection. So go to your settings gear. You're gonna search secure lock. And the first option for our lock screen, secure lock settings, you're gonna select that. It's gonna take you right there. It's the third option down. Enter your pin and you'll be brought into these settings where you have a couple things that you can choose to turn on or off. And the one I wanna talk about today is the auto factory reset. After 15 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it will reset to factory default settings and all data will be erased, including files and downloaded apps. If you maybe live in a high crime area, you're nervous about losing your phone or device, that could be an option for you to turn on. Just toggle it on and there you go. Now you have self-destruct enabled. Next up, if you're looking to declutter your phone, you can actually hide apps. You're not gonna uninstall or remove the app. You're just gonna hide it on your device. So how we do that is just like everything else, settings gear icon and search hide or hide apps. We're gonna browse further down and it's gonna be the home screen option. So we can hide apps right there. We're gonna select that. We're gonna go a couple options down, hide apps, and now pick and choose the apps that you want to hide. So in this case, let's do a couple of them. We'll do these ones. We'll do 3D Mark and in 2-2 Bench, we're gonna select Done. And now let's go back and we'll take a look. Can we find the apps anywhere? I know where they are. They're in this folder right here and sure enough, they're hidden. Nothing to click, nothing to see. We didn't uninstall them. They're still available at a later date if we want, but they're hidden from our screen. Now let's take a look at our battery settings. Let's make sure we're maximizing our battery life. So we're gonna search battery. This will take us to our battery and device care settings where we have our power saving mode. So we can enable power savings right there, but we have some additional battery settings further down where we can choose to have adaptive battery turned on or off, and we can also protect our battery. So this is important if you wanna extend the lifespan of your phone and battery, you limit the maximum charge to 85%. You can turn that on right there. Also, if you want to slow down charging or not turn on fast charging, you're able to do that right from the screen as well. Just toggle all the sliders on or off. Next up, let's talk about the brightness slider and being able to put that in our shade up at the top. So if we swipe down, you'll notice we actually have in our notification settings, our brightness right here on our phone that we can readily adjust. You may or may not have that. I'll show you how to enable that. So pull down a second time and go select the three dots in the top right hand corner and choose quick panel layout. And the first option is your brightness control. You can always show it. It'll show up in the notifications bar like we have, or you can only show it when you pull down a second time. I like to always keep it there, not just when it's expanded. And we also have our device control and media output options. Don't show, show when quick panels expanded or always show. So we now have always show and those are right there as well for us. Pretty neat, simple to do, just a nice little quick access option for you. You'll love this next tip for any sort of gaming or streaming content if you want it in full screen and want to reposition the camera cutout. So swipe down, hit the settings gear icon, go ahead, search full screen. And the first option that'll show up is display. So choose full screen apps. You'll notice here, that we have to select on it. And we have our full screen or app default, and we can force apps to run in full screen even if they're not optimized for long displays. So that's the first option, but you'll notice at the bottom we got aspect ratio. We also have camera cutout. So you can hide the camera cutout area by covering it with a black bar if you prefer, or if you want to expand the screen and have that little notch up at the top, the little hole punch, you have that option right here. So choose, depending on the app, what you prefer. Maybe for some apps you want the black bar, for other apps you want the whole. It's up to you to pick and choose. So app default, or you can show camera cutout or hide 
camera cut out right there from within your phone settings. And for our last tip, let's talk about the display settings. So we'll pull that up right here. You'll notice we actually can search for it or it's just the fourth option down. And we have this motion smoothness setting. There's a helpful graphic on here showing you high or standard. It's gonna be 120 hertz for the high option or 60 hertz for the standard. If you want smoother animations, scrollings, better gaming, things like that, you'll appreciate the 120 hertz refresh rate. If you don't care about that, you'd rather have the maximum amount of battery than choose standard. Up to you which one you want. Well, that concludes our Samsung Galaxy A53 5G tips and tricks. Let me know which tip or trick was your favorite one in the comment section. Also, if there was something I didn't mention, I wanna hear that as well from you.